Yo, what's good, people? You're through to Else at TVKL. Thank you for watching as always. Right, this one I'm going to keep real brief. I just want to ask one question and one question only. Has anybody seen Christopher Hubank Jr.? Because the last time I've seen or heard anything from this guy, well, was that his last fight? Um, <laughs> which I went to back in February, and that was six months ago. Six months ago, I've not heard or seen nothing of Chris Eubank Jr., which is perplexing because I didn't think he could go that long without talking. Um, but it's quite weird. And uh, the only reason I even, he even came into my mind today was um, I was responding uh, to someone's tweet. Um, not actually physically responding, like as in typing back, but in, in terms of thought process, because the tweet was, who is your current favourite British boxer? So I was kind of going through the list of fighters in my head and Eubank came into my head. And then I thought to myself, oh my God, it's been six months since I last seen this guy. Where is he? Strange, it's certainly from a fighter who fights between two divisions that at the moment certainly is thriving at the super middleweight division. Um, you got the likes of uh, uh, John Ryder who called him out. John Ryder versus Eubank Jr. at middleweight. I would have made Eubank a clear favourite. At super middleweight, not so sure. Still yet to be convinced by Eubank Jr. at super middleweight. Um, John Ryder's in decent form right now and uh, has found a home at, at, at 168. James DeGale recent, recently relinquished his IBF belt, citing that he wants big name fights. I still think there'll be a great demand uh, for a fight between him and Eubank Jr. Perfect opportunity for Eubank to, to throw down the gauntlet to James DeGale. Once again, he's done it before in the past. Uh, but again, silence from Eubank. Uh, Rocky Fielding recently has become a world champion um, at super middleweight. With all due respect to Rocky Fielding, I think there's uh, a few fighters better than him. I'm not sure how long he'll hold on to that belt. So there's been plenty going on. Um, and, and, and there's been enough going on for him to have, uh, you know, emerge from the shadows. Um, I didn't think the beating he took from from Groves was particularly embarrassing. I think he lost comprehensively, yes, but I don't think it was embarrassing. It's not like he got knocked out, George Groves style <laughs> against Froch. You know, is you just lost a fight on points comprehensively. But uh, he's reacting like a guy that got put flat on his back in, in, in an embarrassing fashion. So it's very very strange and. Um, one of the things that I remember thinking after he lost to George Groves was I wonder if he's going to, I think I even did a, I've done a video on it about how he was going to react to losing to George Groves. Would he change trainer? Would he change the way, you know, his regime? Would, you know, would there be a fundamental change to his setup? Um, but six months on and I'm still scratching my head and asking the same questions. And now I'm asking where the hell is the guy? So yeah, just my two pence on a, a very weird one for me. Um, hopefully he emerges soon because, um, I do enjoy watching Christian Ben Jr. Um, I think he's quite uh, uh, a mysterious dude and um, he's quite intriguing for the game. So hopefully he emerges soon, but for now I'm going to put out some uh, some <laughs> some missing uh, Eubank posters and hopefully he uh, someone finds him. But anyway guys, that's just my two pence on that. Um, if you see him, um, hear from him, let me know. But for now, else TVKO and I'm out of it. Peace.